Hi guys, Kurt Provost here, your guide to all things new skin. Are you aware that there are more foreign organisms living within your body than actual human cells? With foreign organisms coming in at roughly 39 trillion within our body, within the average human being, and human cells being roughly around 37 trillion, that is the truth. And yet these organisms are so microscopic, they are absolutely tiny, that they only make up about 1 to 3% of a human being's mass. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about bacteria, viruses, and fungi. These amazing little creatures, let's just call them. They are an integral part of what it is to be human, and they play a massive role in how we feel, in how healthy we are, in how we behave, in uh, our immune responses, in so many different things. So I'm going to explore this topic a little bit because it's in relation to this product from New Skin, which I take every single day. And I've been wanting to make this episode for a long time just to explain why I take that and why I believe it is so important. And basically everyone on the planet should be taking some form of probiotic supplement. And I'll detail how this is different to everything else on the market. So those 39 trillion foreign organisms that exist within us, on us, around us, but connected to us in some way, shape or form is collectively called or are collectively called the microbiome. Now you may have heard of that before. No doubt you will hear it in the future because it is increasingly, uh, we're becoming aware of just how important the microbiome is for a whole host of different functions within our body. It's quite an incredible thing. The more you learn about it, the, the more exciting it is, or at least for me, because it reveals that we have a universe, an unexplored universe within us. Yes, we have one uh, outside of us as well, but there are just layer upon layer upon layer of worlds within us that we know so very little about, and this is one of them. To give you a little idea of that, uh, one human cell has roughly 20 to 25,000 genes. Well, the microbiome has 500 times the genetic material of that. And that, that is multiplied by 39 trillion. There are over 400 billion different species. This is a massive world on a micro scale. <laughs> Now we get three quarters of our microbiome from our mothers and that transfer of microbiome occurs when we are exiting or entering into the world, depending on how you look at it, leaving one world that's very warm and moist and uh, entering out into the bright, a drier world that we continue to exist in today. And it's a baptism of bacteria, so to speak. And that may gross some people out. However, it shouldn't because it's super important. You see, as we are born into this world, we have partially formed immune systems. And a lot of the responses of the immune system happen as a result of the different microbiomes that we're exposed to, the, the different microorganisms that uh, our immune system interacts with. So different viruses, different bacteria, and different fungi. And so we borrow a lot of that immunity and a lot of that exposure, that very healthy and safe exposure from our mother. And uh, that's why the, the health of the parents is really, really important because that microbiome, everything's getting passed on to the next generation and then they have the chance to pass it on again and hopefully we can improve on that. It also very interesting to note that those who uh, give birth via a C-section, there is uh, somewhat of a disconnect there because they miss the, the main um, transference of the microbiome and so they have to develop it in other ways which inevitably we do but they may miss a lot of the things that have naturally um, been developed within the mother. So the microbiome is responsible or facilitates so many different actions within the body from storing fat to uh, activating genes within human cells to assisting in the absorption of nutrients to the breaking down of toxins, the creation of blood vessels, 
to the repair of the gut lining. I mean, it's so many different things. Helping to repair or replace damaged or dead cells. And of course, the big one is that they fight against or at least compete against invading um, microorganisms that may not be friendly. So if you've got plenty of friendly uh, bacteria, good bacteria, probiotic in there, then it's going to be an asset. It's kind of like you've got this, these soldiers, these billions and trillions of soldiers inside you that are fighting for you uh, whenever a pathogen enters into your body. So it, it's absolutely incredible uh, what the microbiome does, what it's made up of. And it, it also extends beyond our borders of just this, what you see here, the flesh and blood. It extends out beyond us onto the surfaces of and the spaces that we occupy. Uh, that may sound a little strange, but our microbiome expands out to include our house, our home. And uh, it's said that within 24 hours of moving into a new property, that your microbiome will have moved out, expanded out and colonized that new space. Now, of course, there's existing um, microorganisms within that space that they will compete with, but with time, it will become more and more your space. And this really gives a whole new meaning to, uh, you know, home is where the heart is. It's kind of like, well, home is where the microbiome is. And it, it gives you a, a greater appreciation, or at least it, it makes me think a little more carefully of who I invite into my home because it's a part of me um, biologically. And so it also controls the smell of us, scent. And scent is a unique thing. It is something that uh, can identify us. People can be identified by the smell of the, the sweaty shirt that we just left in the wash. And uh, that's why under our armpits smell. It's not because there's hair there. It's because there's bacteria there and different types of bacteria that uh, when they're feeding, they create a certain smell. So all these different things all make up the microbiome. Now, why am I talking so much about the microbiome? Well, I think it's absolutely fascinating. I could probably talk a lot longer about it, but I'm talking about it today specifically because if you're not supplementing with good bacteria, to really give your body the best possible chance to fend off any pathogens that are entering into that microbiome, then you may just be uh, selling out the trillions of little soldiers that are already fighting within you. They need replenishment. They need fresh reserves and backup. And uh, the best way to do that, well, of course, is having a fantastic diet and then supplementing with very specific probiotics. So what are probiotics? Well, they are good bacteria. They are bacteria that has been found either within the digestive system or in different parts of the body, but generally we're dealing with digestive tract um, bacteria, and that has proven long-term to be really beneficial for our body. And uh, there's a number of different things that have to go into what makes a good probiotic. But number one is it has to be able to survive getting through your, your gut, the really acidic juices that are there to break down your food. Quite often they break down a lot of the bacteria. And so a lot of people are buying supplements out there, probiotics, that sound amazing. It's got, uh, you know, I've got a billion of this and a billion of that and a billion of this one but it doesn't actually make it through the gut juices. And so it's a bit of a waste of money. So you want one that is robust enough, that is resilient enough, and that is designed to be able to traverse the uh, really acidic landscape of the gut and get in deeper to the lower digestive tract where it can have a really wonderful benefit for those who are suffering from digestive tract issues, which are, uh, for anyone who's traveling, this is a major, major issue. You know, if you head overseas, I, I learned the lesson the hard way when I was in Cambodia one time and uh, I drank the tap water because I got sick of buying all those plastic bottles. Boy, did I regret that after a week of just, I, I couldn't move and I lost 10 kilos. And I'm the sort of person that I don't have 10 kilos to lose. And so it completely decimated me because there was a whole lot of uh, new bacteria that my body had never been exposed to before. 
and uh, let me just say I lost that battle. However, I did build up some resilience to it and so the subsequent times I visited Cambodia, I was fine eventually, but uh, it would have been much better if I was taking a probiotic at that stage to assist. All right, that's enough talking. Let me introduce you to ProBio PCC. This one, this is what I take every day since it has launched in Australia recently. Uh, before that, I was actually ordering it in the US and having it shipped over here because I know this one is really good and I'll explain why that is. So they use a strain called Lactobacillus Fermentum PCC. It was uh, extracted from a very healthy Swedish woman who uh, they were studying her for whatever reason and discovered that one of the sources of her good health was an abundant supply of very strong Lactobacillus Fermentum PCC. There are four things that make this product distinct to every other probiotic that you find in the marketplace. So ProBio has four key characteristics. Number one is that it is able to pass through the highly acidic environment of the gut and get straight through to the lower intestinal tract and digestive system where it can then colonize. So that's super, super important. It actually is resilient enough to survive passing through. So you're not just wasting your money, it's getting to where it needs to go, which everything from Pharmanex and New Skin gets to where it needs to go. And that's a super, super important point here. The other thing is colonization. It has been proven time and time again that when it gets to where it needs to go, it does what it needs to do. It colonizes, it spreads, it expands, it sets down little points and then multiplies from there because that's the whole idea is you want these guys to dominate that space rather than a uh, less friendly form of bacteria. So the third point is identity. They know the exact genus, the exact species and type of bacteria. And what this allows New Skin to do is to be absolutely certain of the shelf life quantity. So on here, it tells you that there are 2 billion Lactobacillus fermentum PCC in every single capsule, every single time at the end of shelf life. And what that means, why the distinction, the distinction is most other probiotics out there will have, all right, we've got a billion of this or 2 billion of that at time of manufacturing but they need to be refrigerated. And if at some point in the logistics chain, when the refrigeration drops out or it doesn't happen, which <laughs> it's highly likely that that has been happening, they cannot guarantee at the time that it gets into your body, that it's gonna have the same quantity of active bacteria or alive bacteria that they did when they manufactured it. And that's simply because, you know, there's human error out there uh, the air conditioning breaks down and the temperature changes. I know when people are delivering products to me, maybe the actual logistics company have refrigerated vans and all that sort of thing. But then when the couriers come along, they just throw the boxes around. They leave it sitting at the front of the house for a couple of hours. That temperature fluctuation is enough to kill the bacteria in many of the probiotics that are on the market. So what is super cool about, oh, what is super cool about ProBio PCC is that it doesn't require refrigeration. Now, once you open it, that's a different matter. It's a good idea to refrigerate it, but this is designed in very special packaging. It keeps the temperature constant. It also keeps it dry. The strain is resilient enough to get to you and still be active, still be alive and do what it needs to do. Which brings us to the fourth and final point of difference for this product. And that is that there are 2 billion per capsule. It is an effective dose and they can guarantee that this is going to be an effective dose that is getting to you. And that is what is most important. What are you spending your money on? Are you sure you're getting what you're spending your money on with this product? You can strongly say yes. And that is why I take this over any other brand. And I can extend that out to all of the Pharmanex range because the same, um, 6S process, quality control process, which you can check out here, 
it has gone into making this as it has with the other Pharmanex and New Skin products, which just means it's on a different standard. So what kind of results can you expect from this? Well, if you haven't got it already, the microbiome is important for so many different things. The results are going to be completely varied, but obviously if someone has uh, digestive issues, if they've got gastrointestinal issues, then it's a great idea to be supplementing with a probiotic like Probio PCC. Uh, if you are traveling, it's a fantastic idea to be strengthening that. Or if having a really robust and strong and healthy immune system is important for you, which it definitely should be, then I would recommend supplementing with this as well as I do every single day. All right, guys, I think I have woven the story of the microbiome long enough. I find this an absolutely fascinating topic and I might create another video in the future that goes a little more in depth into this because there really is so much more that we can talk about here. If you enjoyed this, if you found this interesting, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment or a question. Uh, please subscribe as well and turn on the notifications. If you want to get your hands on this, then you can do so through the links below. I've got a welcome discount for you guys. And if you can't see the country that you're in, just send me a message. My details are at the end and you can get access to it and a very tailored package for you. All right, guys, my name is Kurt Provost. I am your guide to all things new skin. See you in the next video.